Well, tonight, the D.C. National Guard says it plans to activate more than 300 troops to support police ahead of pro-Trump rallies planned right here for Wednesday. That's when Congress meets to certify Joe Biden's election victory, even as President Trump and many Republicans refuse to accept that he lost. We get more now from CBS's Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. As the representative New York's Elise Stefanik was the latest Republican today. I plan to object. To join a controversial effort that now includes at least a dozen senators and many more House members. I believe there are serious questions with respect to the presidential election. The GOP lawmakers plan to object Wednesday to electoral college tallies in up to half a dozen battleground states that were won by President-elect Joe Biden. But the lack of any evidence of fraud has led other Republicans to dub the effort unconstitutional, even dangerous, arguing it undermines the voters and has zero chance of success. That's not stopping Tennessee's Marsha Blackburn, though she acknowledged today that the president's leaked phone call did hurt the cause. This call was not uh, a helpful call. Republicans don't have the votes to prevent Biden from being certified the winner, which makes it even more surprising that senators like Indiana's Mike Braun and Wisconsin's Ron Johnson are now jumping on board, weeks after they acknowledged Biden's victory. He will be the next president. I, I accept that reality. But they are all facing pressure from the contester in chief who today used the term surrender caucus to describe Republicans who don't back the move. He even warned one of them, Tom Cotton of Arkansas, that GOP voters will never forget his decision. The courts have spoken. Democrats Joe seem Biden determined to downplay the whole United thing. States. Wednesday's clash could last all day, but it won't alter the outcome. We're not looking backward. We're looking forward to the inauguration of Joe Biden on January 20th. Even Mr. Biden himself has had little to say about the GOP plan, preferring to let Republicans fight it out among themselves. And tonight, on the eve of her runoff election, Georgia Senator Kelly Loeffler says she too will challenge the election results on Wednesday, including possibly the presidential election results from her own state. Nora? All right. Nancy Cordes, thank you.